Hello there, so I wanted to make a bit of a different video today than some of my typical devlogs. So now I've seen a lot of people comparing themselves to others and this is something that I struggled with myself. So I feel like this is an important topic to talk about, not just in indie game development, but in general as well. So I hope that anyone watching this, by the end of the video you will have a new perspective on things. So, like I mentioned before, comparing myself to others is something that I myself have struggled with. Take for example my YouTube channel. It has around 250 subscribers with around 118 videos. Well, most are actually live streams, but you can count on around 50 to 60 videos. That's bad. Like, that's really bad subscriber count if I compare myself to other channels in the same genre. But if you told me five years ago that I'm gonna have 250 people listen to me and like my content so much that they will subscribe to me, that's a completely different mentality. I have been posting on this channel for around three years now and sure, I also went to school together so there were a ton of times where I was just simply burnt out and took sometimes three months breaks from YouTube because I just could not simply find the time. I hated video editing, I hated scripting the videos and it was just the most boring thing for me just because I wanted to be someone I wasn't. You know, Brackies for example uploaded two three times per week, same with Blackthorn Prod and all of the other amazing YouTube channels that I looked up to. I felt that to get to their status, their position, I had to do the same thing as them. And it did not work for me. I felt like YouTube became a sort of a chore for me. And thankfully I managed to take a vacation after the school ended and I had some time to think over with myself, what am I actually doing? I realized that putting my mental health first, before my YouTube channel and before my games, will be good for me in the long run. So of course, you know, I will try to keep a schedule of uploading videos at least once per week, but I will upload the videos when I feel like they're ready to upload it, right? I will set my own schedule. But the title of the video is My Struggles as Indie Game Developer and I haven't even talked about the game development sites. This is not a clickbait, I promise. So I did not have a quote-unquote commercial success with my first game. I believe it has been downloaded around nine times and like three of them were me testing, making sure everything works. It was actually the same with my second game, third, fourth, and even my latest game, Lucky Brawls, only has around 21 downloads, and it has currently made zero dollars. And I am fine with that, because I know that every step I take, I am closer and closer to my goal. And you, as a game developer, should be okay with that. I mean, Scott, Cawthon, or however you pronounce, I probably butchered that name so badly, but he made 80 indie games before finally creating Five Nights at Freddy's, for example. And you, as a fellow game developer, or a future game developer, need to accept that you are not gonna get success off of your first game. You will not make a game, make millions, and lay back and think that you are set for life. That's not how this works. You will be facing struggles, you will be facing burnouts, quite possibly. There will be times where you will wonder if this path is even worth it. And I'm here to tell you that it will be okay. All of the people that you are currently comparing yourself to went through the exact same things. And I know that you have probably heard this a thousand times already, but just be you and I will keep being me. 
So yeah, this is uh, something I wanted to get off of my chest for some time now. I simply hope that by, you know, showing some of the struggles to you as a viewer, I can maybe change some of your thoughts. And if I manage to change one person's mind to keep following the dreams, then this video is a success to me. I think I also have to mention that, you know, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and also like the video, you know, I had to put it somewhere. I felt like putting it in the middle of the video didn't feel exactly right. So yeah, if you perhaps want to open up a bit, you can perhaps mention some of your struggles in the comment section and we can probably have a chat. And don't worry, hopefully the next week I will uh, get a devlog ready for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.